What is up, internet? This is the end of the first week of Ritual League and probably my final League Start Progress video in general. Uh, it has been a very busy week in Path of Exile. And as of today, we're pretty much done with the Atlas. We've done almost all of these fights. We've done the Maven, we've done the Ubers, the Breach Lords, the Elder Guardians and the Shaper Guardians. One thing I haven't done and we're going to do here in a minute on video against my better judgment is the Synthesis Bosses one. We've also killed Sirius on Awakener 8. We have a full set of Watchstones. We technically don't even have all of the Sirius Watchstones. I think I'm missing two out of here and two out of here. But I've gained so many crafted Watchstones from the other fights that I just haven't really needed them. At this point, we're fully into the Vridi's Veil setup that I mentioned in my last video. Uh, we've got the magic ring on, the on lightning and chaos. I don't think I've upgraded anything else since my last video. I might have actually. Kind of forget, but we have pretty decent gear now, basically, uh, with some very good boots. That I still want to get a different Uberlab enchant here. I think the damage pen is more consistent because I'm using a trigger wand. Especially, I've got two different spells constantly rolling their crit chance. I can turn that off. So, especially cold snap going off all the time. But, uh, some Puahartes gloves that I've had for a while. The old Coward's Legacy. This offhand wand I can obviously upgrade, but I'm waiting on some Harvest Crafts. I want to try and beef this up with Harvest a little bit more. It's serving its purpose right now. It hasn't stopped me from clearing everything on the atlas so and this same one i've had this one for quite a while now probably since like the third day or something we've got all our awakened gems i don't have a corrupted chest piece yet that's probably one of the next things on the table uh, we do have our full cluster set up i'm using a uh, projectile medium right now instead of a curse I may switch to a curse later. They're just kind of a pain to get a hold of. And I've got a one mod Watcher's Eye. I think uh, going to a two mod will happen here pretty soon too. After I farm some more currency. But everything else is pretty normal in the tree. I have a little bit of extra mana. I'm probably going to make a swap to Brutal Restraint here pretty soon. So I want the extra notable in the Brutal Restraint radius for that. But yeah. The Vridi's Veil has sort of changed the build for me in the sense that it's so much easier now to put this build together and get into like a Coward's Legacy with Hatred and actually scale the build in a more functional way rather than waiting up until, you know, you can afford an Azir's Reflection. There's like a big gap between the Kikazaru setup, which you League started with, and then eventually getting into a Reflection, which I'm sure a lot of people just never got to. But now... I mean, because Maven's part of the core expansion, and this is probably her most common drop, um, you're going to start seeing these on trade fairly early, uh, within the first week for sure, as people, you know, try to rush to get their Maven kills in. And I know that some of you noticed the price of the Veil spiked after I made my video. It's already come back down a lot. I think it's in the, like the 15 to 20 chaos range again. So I don't expect that to ever be that expensive. Now that more people are starting to kill Maven here at the end of the first week, there was like well over a hundred of these listed and there's just going to be more and more. And I don't know of any other builds that are currently utilizing them. So yeah, Hierophant, Freezing Pulse Totems, you know, rumors of Hierophant's death have been greatly exaggerated, it would seem. And if anything, I'm pretty okay with Pursuit of Faith at this point dying in the way that it did if it means we have this much better route for build progression going forward. Which, I don't see why we wouldn't, you know? With Maven, at least for the next year, right? With Maven being part of the core expansion. But I figure, since we normally do a fight in every one of these League Star Start Progress videos, I don't know how this is going to go. This could go pretty bad. But uh, sometimes you just got to do it. Now, this is the four synthesis bosses. So two golems two you know angels or whatever or three angels actually and one golem it looks like 
The golem, I think, is my highest priority. So if the golem comes up first... Yeah, so I really want this golem dead. In my, it's my guess, anyway. That's why I want him to... Not eat up so much of my arena with that stupid spinny move. We've still got a duplicate golem up. I think we just have too much damage for this guy to handle. No problem. That went pretty well, actually. I would say that that was one of the easier ones, in fact. Um, so now that I've done them all, I don't think we're going to get... We do get two more so we actually get 12 points i'm learning this stuff as you are live i thought we had 10 but it's actually 12 here in the center because you get two per each of these uber fights and then you get two more for maven i guess i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with these yet unfortunately adept tracker is pretty bad by itself if i wind up taking this out at some point to get to the one of these two maybe i'll come into here but this is i'll just say this right now this is a terrible note it's actually awful um, and it's kind of unfortunate it's blocking two decent ones. The Awakening level is probably the best in this line, but this one's even not that bad. He actually has a little bit better drop rate for support gems than people like to claim. So a 50% increased chance wouldn't be terrible. But this... Oh man. It's bad. I'm probably going to hold on to these points until I decide what exactly I want to do with them rather than making a decision on video. But yeah, if I had to rank these fights of the five sort of end game fights other than maven i would actually say the breach lords were the hardest if you were watching the stream today i did the breach lords and i did the uber fight on stream and the breach lords managed to kill me once whereas the ubers didn't and i think just in general it's it's a scarier fight don't treat that one as a joke you'd almost think it would be the easiest because the Breach Lords are the oldest content, and you can farm these uh, witnesses all the way down at like the level 73 versions of the Breach Stones. They're vicious. It's absolutely a problem. <laughs> I would say, uh, yeah, given that how easy the Synthesis one was just now, that's the one I think you should be most afraid of, along with the Ubers. The Uber ones, don't get me wrong, that one's still really hard. I certainly could have died uh, if I wasn't paying it close attention to what was going on but the breach lords are just hard to control is the problem i would say if you want to do the breach lords one find old nettle and kill him like you have to sit on him and get him out of there because old nettle will ruin the arena for you and if you lose space to move on the arena because he's filled it up with bone shards ash will then kill you or toll will then kill you because both of them have very large like arena wide attacks and uh, that's actually what I wound up dying to. I did manage to stop Old Nettle from messing up my arena, but Ash was sucking up large portions of the arena with his, you know, lightning, the big room wide he does. It's not technically room wide, but if he, he, well, if he's in the middle, it probably will take up most of the room. So if you can kind of keep him on one of the sides, it still takes up like this much of a radius, right? Uh, and then Tool is what actually killed me because I was trying to avoid that stuff and he was off on this side doing his cone breath stuff. So he managed to freeze me because I just ran out of flask trying to stop myself from getting frozen. And once I was frozen, it was over, right? So that's the one I would say to treat with the most care. If you're going to wait until you have your character built up, that's the one you want to go in there with the most DPS. Um, and really focus on Ool Nettle and then probably Esh and Toll. Zoff is not as much of a big deal in my experience. He's easier to avoid. Don't get murdered by Old Nettle and Ash. That was fun. And I guess with that fight, we really have done everything. We've done all the fights. Uh, well, I'll say this. We still have to get some skill points for our, our zones, I think. Yeah, some of these still have two skill points left to get. And obviously... You know, I'm going to want to fill this with watchstones, with crafted watchstones, and start doing some hardcore farming. I'll be doing that this upcoming weekend, and I'm sure into next week and stuff. So if you'd like to come by the stream and see that, you can find me at twitch.tv slash wallet TV. And if you have any questions about the build, 
you can always hit me in the comments or find me in the forum thread uh, or just on Twitch. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the league. This will probably be my last league start progress video. I'll probably have more videos coming for the league, but as far as league start progress, it'd be hard to call it league start progress at this point when there's, you know, not much more end game left to do. The only other thing I'll say is I'll probably upload my first Maven kill. As ugly as it was, I think I died four times on my very first Maven kill because one of the attacks I just didn't understand at the time. Uh, I understood it now when I got to rewatch the footage and then when I went to kill her a second time, uh, I, you know, I didn't die to that attack again. But I'm going to upload the, that one anyway because that was the very first kill that I did. And I think it serves as a good example of, uh, you know, how the build does on fresh content. Anyway, I'm loving the league. I hope you guys are too. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.